who's ready to go plant shopping. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now, today we will be, once again, plant shopping. Now, I honestly don't even know what I'm going to get. I just want to go and look. So today we will be hitting up Westwood Gardens, which is a local plant store. We will also be hitting up Walmart and we will be hitting up Home Depot, all right? And maybe Lowe's, I don't know exactly yet. Depends on how the route is. If Lowe's ain't around, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna worry about it. But before we get into all of that, I would like to thank all of my current subscribers for all of your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are new to the channel be sure to drop a like and subscribe it is completely free to support my channel it's not like i'm trying to sell you an ebook or anything like that look we're just vibing out having a good time all right so for the people that's been sticking around for a long time you guys would know that you know what i'm saying i like fashion all right i'm in the fashion so i'm gonna start switching up some of my water with me and go plant shopping with me videos you know what i'm saying i'm gonna start doing fit checks so with that being said let's get to it so today i'm keeping it fairly simple i have a balenciaga concept sweat shirt this was designed and created by me and honestly it's one of my favorite designs for the pants we will be rocking some slim straight good fellow pants these are like a coral color and we will be matching them up and styling them up with my new balance 574 sports and when it comes down to accessories you know i like to keep it simple so we you know what i'm saying black shades we got the scully on and we got our diamond chain from prez so so you guys have seen the fit you guys know what i'm rocking so it is time for me to go outside fill up my truck real quick with a little bit of gas and time to hit these streets so our first stop is in walmart and i've honestly been thinking about getting one of these but i don't, I don't know i think i'm gonna wait but what i think i'm going to get is this right here so apparently this is a really good low light plant so i may end up throwing this in like the bedroom maybe i don't know I don't even know how much it is, but I just feel like that's very, very beautiful. And uh, what else we got over here? You know, we ain't really got much else that's really catching my eye. It's mainly just this one right now. And I don't know, these actually don't look too bad. I don't know. But uh, we're gonna go to the other side and we'll look through those. But for sure, we're gonna leave with one of these. Nothing over here really catching my eye, honestly, but pretty good variety I honestly wouldn't mind getting this right here and then probably propagating it and turning it into like a tree yeah when it comes down to Walmart I don't really come to Walmart to really buy plants like that all the time unless you're like going to get trees that may be the recommended place to go like this right here I really want one of these but I'm gonna wait until we move this right here would be crazy but this is a ficus which is what we saw earlier except this is of course way bigger and way more expensive but whenever we move I actually will get one of these and Emily wants a palm so I'm gonna get her a palm as well whenever we move but uh, that's really everything as of right now that I really see so we snagged white and right here and some more brackets. I forgot that I needed three more so I could finish my plant wall build, but yeah. So we got this one right here, it's a beautiful plant. And I think it was only like $5, I believe, after all of these brackets and stuff. I mean, I only spent $10.23, so it had to be somewhere around that ballpark. So very inexpensive, very low light. So this one right here is probably gonna go in the bedroom and then I'm gonna take the other Chinese money plant and put it, I don't know, somewhere else, just not the bedroom. And now, we're going to go across the street. I highly doubt you guys can see that, but uh, Home Depot is across the street and Home Depot is a sleeper for plants. So we're about to hop in the truck and head that way. And for you guys that are probably wondering, how do I even transport all of these plants when I go out and buy multiple at a time? This is one method right here. So if nobody's sitting in the back seat, pull down that cup holder, make sure you have these like little rubber things right here. And they, this is actually me trying to like, it, it just won't work okay so you actually have to put some force on it to pull it up if we end up buying some more plants i'll show you guys the other ways that i do transport these bad boys back home so here we are in home depot and we're kind of slipping off to the back because you know sometimes the good plants always are hiding but home depot is like a sleeper place to buy plants okay like they don't even have to be on clearance and they're like ridiculously cheap these monsteras actually oh wait that's kind of heavy too See there, like $17 for this right here. And the one that I got, I paid like 20 at Walmart and it's way smaller than this, you know what I'm saying? So Home Depot is really a sleeper. I came in here accidentally and just started looking around. I was like, what the, I was like, 
man, what is really going on? I hate I missed out. Look at these palms, $20. And y'all saw the palms at Walmart were like $100. So yeah, it's it's crazy, the price difference. Look at this right here. Let me see if I can find this one. Okay, so look, right there. That's that, uh, what is it called again? I always call it a fig, but it's not a fig. It's a ficus. And look at this ficus right here. Huge ficus, not as big as Walmart, but $30. You know, and it's just crazy. We already have one of these. Let me see what the price is. $30, I think Hector and Jorge were about $50 at Walmart. They're like $40, $50 at Walmart. So it's a decent price difference. And I think I found what I'm getting. I think I found what I am getting. This right here is beautiful. We're definitely gonna have to clean this bad boy because it is very, very dusty. But uh, I'm gonna do a little research on this one right here. I think I'm gonna get this one. And we're just gonna look around and see what else we got. Look at this succulent, bro. Look at this. I didn't even know that thing get that big. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna look around and keep on wandering around. It's kind of tight up in here, kind of almost like an obstacle course. Look at these spikers right here. Look at that. Oh, it is a fig. Okay, so I was calling right. This is called the fig, but the technical term is a ficus. Okay, but look at this right here. Look how big these are for ninety dollars. This probably be like hundred and twenty dollars at Walmart. Look how tall they are. And I'm six two. I'm six two and can't even reach that top leaf up there. So that shows you how big these things can get. And I got really long arms, by the way, guys. So let's continue looking around and see if we find something else. Hold up, I just gotta show you guys this. I've never seen succulents like in vibrant colors like that. That is wild. But we actually have this one right here, but I've never ever in my life seen these. They're only $7. Dang, I can't even shop because I'm seeing so many of these right here. I'm not gonna buy this one, but look at this philodendron here, bro. Look at that. The leaf is almost bigger than my hand and it's only $30. Home Depot, hit me up. Give me an affiliate account or something, man. I'm, I'm gonna put everybody on. We actually used to have one of these. His name was Adam and he died. I low key wanna get another one and try again. But then again, I really don't like them as much as I did the first time I saw them. Drop down in the comments if you kinda like that. Like you'll buy a plate and then you're like, eh, you know, kinda not feeling it afterwards. You know what I'm saying? That's kinda how I feel with that one. But yeah, these things are crazy. Man, Home Depot is crazy. And honestly, I'm gonna do a span they usually have this way more filled up, okay? It's usually way more stuff in here. I don't know if they're like redoing the interior in here and like trying to actually get the inventory in so it's kind of scarce, but like usually it's just plants everywhere, okay? And honestly, outside looks empty over there. So yeah, I think they're doing a little bit of gathering inventory and stuff like that. All right, so after doing a little bit of quick research, we are definitely getting one of these. This is actually the rubber plant. I knew it looked super familiar when I passed by it, but it's so dusty, it kind of threw me off a little bit. But when this grows up, the leaves actually turn like very, very dark green to where it looks black and has like a matte kind of semi-gloss type leaf on it. And it's like slightly shiny, but it, you know, from a distance it would actually look kind of sort of matte black. Now here is one of the other ways I transport my plants. So if they have like a bigger size pot on them like this, you put them in the back seat. This is all the way back. And then I have my third row down. So this seat is like pushed up a little bit. And what you want to do is you want to sit it like right here and like kind of like spin it in because if you try to force it in, you could damage your plant or whatever. So you don't want to do that so you want to put it kind of like right here and like spin it and kind of sort of like let itself like kind of squeeze in there you see what i'm saying so you don't damage anything but so welcome to the family our beautiful rubber plant hopefully we keep this bad boy alive because this right here is uh probably like in my top five favorite plants and i've been looking for this online but of course these right here are very expensive so i'm very happy i found this in home depot now that we got home depot scratched out of the way it is time to go to my favorite plant store which is westwood gardens that is here in fayetteville arkansas they have i believe four locations so they have two in fayetteville one in springdale and one in rogers but the one that i'm going to is going to be the largest store because that store there is where they grow all of their plants and then distribute from there to the other store so this is like a playground for plant lovers and they also have a very nice like kind of sale system so when it comes down to like the small two inch potted plants they're actually like 
350 I believe. They're less than $4 for sure. So you can go up there and get these little small, like, like it doesn't even matter what plant it is. If it is in that two inch pot, it is like 350 or something like that. So I'm ready to show you guys that. So we will be on our way. I still haven't even gotten gas because everybody's out getting gas and I can't even get a pump okay i'm waiting behind two three cars at a time i ain't got time for that you know what i'm saying i'm trying to go plant shopping you dig so we're going to be a little risky and we're just going to go ahead and head to westwood but we're going to stop at the shell gas station on the way there it's literally right down the street so i'll see you guys in just a second all right you guys so i ended up getting distracted and everything but here we go at westwood garden so it's the two inch pixie plants is what they're called so they're 385 but as you can see you can basically get whatever you want. Ooh, I, get, I always get caught on this tree behind me, but yeah, so you can get basically whatever you want. This tree right here always snags me up, but I don't see anything really that I'm interested in. I like that because it looks really simple. It's just pretty, but uh, we're going to keep looking around and see what we need. Got all kinds of stuff. So we got some food. Ooh, wee. I low key might get this. This is beautiful. Okay, I like that. I was thinking about getting another kind of Hoya. It looks like tortellini. Uh, I can't, it's like a Hoya rope. Yeah, it's like, then over here we got like the big stuff. Here's another set of ficus figs. This is what Hector and Jorge will look like when they're fully grown. So yeah. But I'm gonna continue looking around and we'll see exactly what we choose, if we choose anything, and yeah. And just to show you guys how big Westwood Gardens is, it is like crazy. So they have all of this stuff, they have outdoor stuff, that's still Westwood Gardens out there. So it's literally so much stuff. They have like statues that you can put out there. They have plants all over. Like this is my favorite store to come to whether I'm shopping or just browsing like it's crazy this is a very pretty cactus right there but yeah it's crazy Ooh, we got some big cactus back here and honestly I've been thinking about getting a cactus but I don't think my boys will cooperate tango likes to rub against stuff so I don't think that's a good idea but yeah we it's dude it's crazy out here and it's huge this is the biggest store that they have and basically they grow everything here distribute it out to their other stores and stuff it's actually pretty cool so i still haven't seen anything that i'm really interested in but i like coming here so much and it's literally like right down the street from where i live so you know it's always good to stop by and then bro look at all of this stuff out here so you go to the outdoor part it's like you got plants you got even more statues you have these huge like stone pots you have glass pots uh but yeah it's it's very very nice it is huge and they're doing a whole bunch of stuff there is a whole bunch of like pots and stuff out there so it's actually pretty crazy i've never walked this far so i'm just gonna go out here to see what's out here but yeah, dude, it's, dude, it's crazy. And it still expands like out this way. Like, it's crazy, man. This is like a playground. Like I said earlier, it's literally a playground for plant lovers and they're planting all of the trees out there. Yeah, it's just super fun, but Looks like I'm finna head back home though, because still haven't seen anything, but I'm just so nosy and just, I just love coming here. So I was saying nothing caught my attention whenever I was at Westwood, but if you can see here, I have this huge, this huge golden pothos. So this right here is in, I believe a 10 inch pot. And we ended up getting either an 11 and a half or 13 inch pot. So we may leave it like this. Of course, I'm going to take this little hook off because we're not going to hang it up. I'm going to honestly probably put this on another shelf. We may put that other shelf up today. So I'm going to take this off. And then honestly, we may just leave it in that for right now because I honestly don't see me being able to pull this all of this dirt out by myself and then repotting it into this bigger pot. So we're probably not going to even worry about it. But this thing is huge and like it's so big. This literally feels like bark like tree bark. So it is very, very grown. 
And these things, of course, grow super, super fast. We got a baby leaf right there. She will need some water. So we're gonna give her a good watering and stuff like that. And then of course, just leave her in the pot, see how she looks, put her in the sun for a little minute, see if she bounced back real quick. And yeah, so we got all our plants here. So I'm gonna take everything out so you guys can see it all like a little bit more in depth. So here is our rubber plant. I haven't cleaned it yet, but I just wanted to give you guys like a size comparison. So this is the one that I got. Where did I get this from? I think I got this from Home Depot. And honestly, I don't have another pot that's big enough for this one so i'm gonna have to go back to westwood Gardens sometime and get me a new one but with this one being white i honestly don't care because most of our pots are white or like that clay one that i got earlier for the huge golden pot though so here we go the rubber plant then we have our little itty bitty white and and this one right here i actually do have a pot for it has a little plastic pot in there so i will be repotting this one just not in this video i just want to show you guys up close but there we go. There's that. There's that pretty one right there. Try to turn it over so you guys can see it. So this one right here is going to go into the bedroom. Now I'm going to go and get the huge pothos so you guys can see exactly like how big it is or at least get some sort of comparison. This bad boy is super heavy. I would not recommend anybody to hold this with one hand, but this is me. Hold on, let me go all the way back. So this is the golden pothos that I ended up getting. It is huge, okay? It is huge and I love it. It still needs a drink of water, so it's gonna only get bigger once I water it, okay? It's gonna look a little bit more fuller. There we go, That's, those are all of the plants. Let me spin it around for you guys. Now, I'd still have to clean all of these, but if you want to see like more plant stuff, like how I clean it, I always make reels and like TikToks and stuff like that. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. I will be popping it up on the screen. So if you just want to keep up with the updates and actually see things in real time, it's best to follow me on Instagram. And, you know, if you want tips and tricks and stuff like that, drop that down in the comments below. And I'll start making even more tips and tricks when it comes down to styling and just plant care in general. So, you know what? Just follow my Instagram for plant stuff, okay? That's just the easiest way to put it. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy. We got a little bit of work on our hands here. So I'm just going to end this video and get to even more work. All right. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm always buying plants. So look, you're not going to be shorted out when it comes down to plant shopping, mini plant hauls and stuff like that. All right. And to all of my current subscribers, as always, I would like to thank you guys for all of your support. It is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next one. We're all out. Let me prop this up right here. I'm out.